Hi everybody, Joe Iaquinto here, and I'm going to give you my two cents on this Music Man Sterling import made in Indonesia, short scale Stingray. It's the import short scale Stingray. This one is a little unique. Um, it's it's a mahogany body with a with a with a sunburst finish. Um, I don't think they're making this anymore. I think now you can get like powder blue and white. That may be one other color, but yeah, this one's kind of neat. Um, got some really cool stuff going on under the hood. It's a passive base. It's a passive base. If you're not familiar with these, they shrunk down the Music Man. They look really funny when you see them on a stand, especially in the lighter colors. They look tiny, but they're proportionate. So it feels great. It feels normal. You know, like I have a Mustang. I love my Mustang, but they kept the giant headstock on it. And Mustangs can, can be a little odd, you know, ergonomically. This thing feels just like a regular Music Man bass to me. Um, anyway, let's get right to it. It's got some very cool, unique features. Passive, but it's got a volume boost. Don't know how to do that. I, I don't know. I'm not an electronics guy, but it's got a volume boost. In the middle, you've got this really neat three-way rotary switch that gives you series, single coil, and parallel. Very, very cool. Makes makes the Stingray no longer a one-trick pony. Um, it's kind of like on the... I remember when I had my five-string Stingray many years ago. I had a couple of them, and they had a switch that did the same thing. So they're doing it on these, which is very cool, but it's passive again. So, so you know, it's a different ball game, And then just a regular you know, tone control, treble bass, um, or treble and no treble, I guess. So here's the bass with the volume normal pushed in, no boost, uh, on the series setting, which is, you know, what I consider the Music Man sound. So it's got all of the of what you want from a Music Man. It's got those, those crisp cutting lows. Bite of the high. And that burpy middle quality. Now, I gotta give you full disclosure on this. I've never really loved the Music Man bass. I, I, when I played my five-string Music Man basses, they served a purpose. I was in a, a specific type of a band for three, four years, and that was the sound that I needed for that band. I never changed. It was a weird point in my life. I had one instrument, two different models, but the same instrument for, for four years, and that's unusual for me. So, um, but I didn't solo a lot. I wasn't doing that kind of stuff. I was just playing certain things that that, that bass was very well suited for. I have trouble doing a lot of solo -y kind of stuff on a Music Man because it's got a lot of sustain. I'm, <laughs> I'm not a very big fan of sustain on a bass. I like flat wounds. I like thumpy. I like thuddy. You know, I like being able to to ring sustain out of an instrument when I want it, but I don't like to have to squash it down when I don't want it. So that being said, the, really the reason I love these basses is just for that. That really cool funky sustain. Um, so that's that setting. Here it is with the volume boost, okay? So I'll play you just a regular lick. That's the normal volume, boost. Now, if my phone's not squashing this with the compression, you'll hear the big difference. If you don't, let me know, and I'll go ahead and make a you know separate kind of recording if you want me to. I don't know, maybe send me something in the mail, you know, I'm just kidding. But I can hear the big difference. I mean, and here's with fingers. This is without the boost. With the boost. So, I mean, for a passive instrument to have anything like that is pretty cool. All right, here's the mid position. This is single coil. There is a hum. Very different to my ears. Very different. 
Still has a little bit of the Music Man quality to it, but it's leaning now a little bit more into Fender territory. Go back to the, uh, the series. Okay, that's the difference there. Uh, third position is Parallel. Even more Fender. Bordering more on a precision sound. And if I back the tone off, I'm going to back the tone off about halfway. It sounds a lot more like a P bass to me. That's close to a P bass in my ear. Um, gonna go back to the series, which is that Music Manny. Very nice. So really interesting, right? For a passive instrument, it's got kind of a cool, cool layout, cool system. The bridge is nice. They went back to that really nice heavy duty with the two big bolts on either side, you know, crank down into the body. Um, they didn't have that. I know that wasn't on the, the, the full-scale uh, Sterling Ray I had. It had just a regular cheap kind of, you know, metal plate. Not a string through, which is fine with me. Six bolt neck. Um, very comfortable, very cool. The tuners are a little flimsy. I'm reaching out to Hipshot um, to see what they have available. In fact, I have to take a picture of this stuff and sent it to them today so I might replace the tuners if they're av available everything else I don't have a problem with at this point the frets are good it goes all the way up to high F so if you're playing a ballad you know you're in a, a wedding band feel like I don't want to play with this band anymore you go and you get fired and there you have your life back but so yeah you can go up to that and go up to the E of course so there you go inexpensive used under 500 bucks New, about $600, although everything's going up with these, with all the instruments, the prices are going up, so not a bad thing to have. Like I said, lightweight, really easy to get around on. Tone back all the way up, I'm going to do the volume boost one more time. Crunch your face up. Okay, that's it for me. I'm going back to doing whatever it is I do, and you do your thing, and see you next time. <laughs>